And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Hey folks, I'm Tom Vassell, and today we're taking a look at Code 777 from Alex Randolph and Robert Albert. This is a game that's been out for quite a long time. It's one of the oldest games there is, actually. This is a reprint. The game was reprinted in America by Stronghold Games. It was actually one of the first games that he did when he first started, but that's out of print now. This one here is from Dice Tree Games. It's a uh, Korean company and this is uh, a bilingual game and so in this game you are taking this old classic game with really amazing components wait till you see them you are um trying to figure out a three digit code that you have that's why it's called code 777 in fact your code might be 777 in fact the likelihood of your code being 777 is greater than it being anything else what does that mean let me show you Each player gets their own tray. They also get a big board like this. This shows you every number tile that's involved in the game. So there's one one, and there are seven sevens, and you'll see there are different colors of each of the numbers. While all the fours are brown, there's three pink sixes and three green sixes. Everybody is going to take tiles and put them like this. So the player across from me has those tiles. And I'm going to put tiles on my own board, but I'm not going to see what they are. So I'm trying to figure out what my code is, for example, the three numbers that are in my code. So right now, as I look at the numbers that are here, I can, for example, on my board, cross off a, a two sixes, a five, another five, a four, a seven, another green six, a three, and a two. So I haven't narrowed it down. I mean, I've narrowed it down, but not very well. So on a player's turn, they draw a card. So let's say it's my turn. I draw a card, and it says 15. I'm going to look at question 15 here, which says, do you see more pink sixes or more green sixes? So I look out there, and I see two green sixes and one pink six. So I say, more green sixes. Now the other players are looking at things. So let's say this person had to answer that question. If they had to answer that question, they would say, I see the same amount of green sixes and green and, and pink sixes. Well, wait a minute, I can only see two green sixes here. So either that means I have a single pink six or I have two pink sixes and one green six, which is very unlikely, but it's up to me. So p players are gonna go around and answer the different questions. Questions might be, how many colors do you see? Do you see more blue sevens or more sevens of a different color? Do you see more black or more brown numbers? On how many racks is the sum of numbers 18 or more? And you can write information down here to keep track of that. If on your turn you think you know your code, you say what your code is. If you're correct, you get to see your code. You then get rid of these numbers and you'll draw three more numbers. You also get a coin here. The first person to get three coins is going to be the winner of the game. If you're incorrect, then you do not get the coin, but you must still discard your numbers and take new ones. If all these tiles are gone, then you take all the tiles that were out, shuffle them back in, and put in the middle. Now all you need to do is say your numbers. You do not need to know the colors. And um, if you, whether you get it right or wrong, if you get it wrong, you just throw your, your tiles back in and take three new ones. But either way, all the other players get some more information. So when you guess, you're helping everybody out whether you get it right or wrong. Again, this continues on until one person gets three coins, at which point that person is the winner of the game. So the components for this are really amazing components. We have these nice backlight plastic tiles here. Now, of course, when you're putting the tiles in your thing, you don't know if you're putting them in upside down or not, so the other players will have to tell you if you're putting them in. But they slide in really nice, and because each of the colors has its own symbol, you don't have to worry about color blindness. These are nice, hard plastic trays. The coins are phenomenally cool little metal coins. The cards are really good quality. The biggest complaint I would have about the game is that because they're trying to be language independent, the question itself isn't on the card. Rather, it's on your sheet here. This is so you can flip it over. Let's say you're playing in Korea, and here's the Korean questions. The also, 
these sheets are big and so they're a little hard to hide. Um, you have to kind of keep it like this, maybe face down as you're doing your different information. They're really useful sheets though. And then everything fits inside this really nice insert here. So the whole thing is just a really high quality production. And even an insert has this little plastic lid inside to keep everything from falling out. There are a lot of deduction games out there, but Code 777 is one of the best. It's a classic game, and there's some really cool things about it because the mixture of the numbers and the colors and seeing everyone else but yours, you don't have to worry about what kind of weird question you're going to ask. You just draw a card and ask that and answer that question. So you don't have to put thought into it. It's just watching how people answer and how their answers to the questions help you. So there's not a lot of room for being clever in this game, right? Like, ooh, I asked such a clever question. So if you're looking for that, you're going to want to go somewhere else. But if you're just trying to figure out the deductive part, I'm getting clues, I'm getting clues, and figuring them out. Sometimes you'll take a leap of faith. Like in the example I showed you, I might have taken a leap of faith and said, there's no way the probability of me having two pink sixes and one green six is really small. And it really is small. Not to mention the fact that maybe I might have seen one of those other numbers earlier when someone guessed right or incorrectly. So that sort of thing helps a lot too. This is an easy deduction game, but it makes you feel super smart. And I really like the combo. You mix that with absolute stunning, amazing components. This is the best version of Code 77 I've ever seen, and I'm really glad to have it in our collection. Dice Tower Judgment, approved!